Um, so Cancer, we do have the world and we do have the six of uh, pentacles, giving and receiving. And um, at some point we stopped giving, right? Because there was no receiving. That's a world. It was an ending because of it. The world and the four of swords, we are now uh, breathing and healing. This is catching your breath. I don't know what this means, but it's the energy of quieting the mind, taking time for yourself. It's a time of healing with the four of swords. Is that it's a time for new beginnings, manifestations, magic, the magician with the world. That is magic in new beginnings. There are opportunities in new beginnings. That is clarity, right? And a plan and confidence and all the tools. We do have the world and the strength. Uh, maybe it was a Leo, uh, but I feel for some of you, you are in control. This is actually after an ending, a termination of some sort. We are just in control. <laughs> And now the universe is confirming that this is over. We have twice the world. And it's also a sign for us to stop shuffling when we, um, you know, when they repeat themselves, the energies, and it is embrace. Somebody here is asked to embrace this ending, to accept it, to allow it, and move on with manifestation and new intentions. Let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time, the most important one. And we have take the lead and we do have the strength again, right? Um, it's Leo energy. Honestly, I don't feel it's about Leo, but it can be for some of you. I really feel that you are um, actually um, guided to take control over a situation. Um, and look at all these beautiful uh, major arcana, the Empress, the Strength and the Temperance. Strength and balance, compromise and balance, right? Um, best behavior and balance, hard work and creativity with the Empress, right? Beautiful energy coming your way, amazing energy. And I feel you expected this and it's just, you know, it was a matter of when and the when is now, you know? Uh, three of Wands kind of heady in the past, expecting abundance, expecting balance, and expecting being in control of all things, and um, and now it is coming, it is showing um, up. So let's, um, of course, can be a Leo, can be a Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra. So, um, Cancer, past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the deck, two of cups. Secret love and commitment, I know. Somebody walked away actually while there was still love. Walked away with justice, fear, uh, secrets. Okay, so let's see Cancer what happened. Let's see in the past on your side, what do we have? Of course, we have love. We have love and we have challenging times, right? So loving this person was a challenge. And yet we had like pure love. Ace of Cups is the most pure love. It's really giving chances and starting over again and again. And then challenging times. And then this is internal struggle. Should I love them? Should I let them go? Should I stay away, right? That's the five of wands. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, sometimes. And then we went back to giving them an offer of love again, and then we went back to um, challenges and changes with the Five of Wands and questioning again, right? Um, the love, the pertinence, the relationship, and so on and so forth. And guess what, Cancer? They were, uh, it, you know, they were going through the same process, but probably more in silence. Um, High Priestess and Five of Wands. So challenges they had in the past uh, probably keeping them hidden you might have um you know they their way of of you know managing challenges might be in secret might be in silence might be more of listening to your challenges instead of sharing theirs it has a, a notion of secret and it has a notion of of intimate uh, battle right with themselves um difficult listening to their intuition right difficult alignment here somebody was really struggling in so many ways spiritually physically mentally um having uh, trouble listening probably to whatever you are trying to tell them you know um because we listen and we listen right 
uh, we hear and we listen. That's um, kind of a difference there. And uh, mutual energy is between the two of you. We do have the strength and we have the six of swords. For some of you, it might be a Leo between the two of you. And um, that is how, um, you know, we got away from each other. But can also be, you know, the energy where somebody walked away. It, it, it has a sense of it was done elegantly, right? The strength is really the best behavior. This is really taming all the struggles that we might have had. And for the peace of mind, of it's kind of the energy of um, um, irreconcilable difference and splitting up and staying friends. Uh, this is the energy, right? Uh, we were struggling together, but as friends, you know, all the tension um, goes down and we, we can have, we still can have conversations, you know. Um, kind of both of you had to walk away from from this Five of Wands energy. Internal struggle, but also probably conflict between the two of you. So where are we right now? And guess what? The universe says it, the time is now. You have twice. Take the lead as the overall energy and also as the energy right now. And we have the um, Nine of Wands. In this deck, rest and reconsider. So Cancer, it goes, I mean, two ways, right? If you are doing nothing at this time, the universe is saying, please take the lead and do something. It's the energy of action. It is the energy of expecting ships to come, to come home, kind of a confirmation that the time is now while we are um, actually uh, resting and reconsidering. For um, If you feel, Cancer, that you are rushing all directions to do something about, probably, you know, for, for you, the universe is asking the opposite, right? Take the lead and rest and reconsider. Don't push yourself in too many directions. Don't, put your, don't push yourself in any direction, actually, and uh, come up with a plan. Rest and reconsider. Think of why we need to do whatever you feel you need to do. Now this person of yours, they do have the Six of Pentacles and they do have the Nine of Pentacles. Giving and receiving a well-deserved reward. That a piece, um, Cancer. Somebody here is single, um, focusing on their well-being, um, you know, their physical being, a well-being. This is um, money self-employed, developing a business, and Six of Pentacles being in a, in a place of balance, in a place of kindness, in a place of um, everyday life with the Pentacles, focusing on what's important, stability and money. And mutual energy is between the two of you. We do have the Seven of Cups and we have the Four of Pentacles. None of you knows if we should open up or not. None of you knows if we hold on to this connection or we simply we have to let it go right that's energy confused it's daydreams decisions illusions something that we cannot have right now we we don't know what to do um and we have you on your side right uh, more into one's energies and the universe is saying you know kind of slow down or we have you resting and being hurt and the universe is asking you to move by the overall energy honestly um, I do feel that um, in some way you are asked to do something about your abundance, your uh, balance, uh, your strength. Maybe your behavior for some of you that is something that is um, not nurturing towards yourself and that's how we get the strength, right? Taming the demons, taming the beast inside of us. So let's see the outcome of this. We do have the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands, and it's strange we go back to the Nine of Wands, right? Eight with Ace. We go back to the Nine of Wands and we know it's the Wounded Warrior. But what's coming your way, new vitality and opportunity um, of success and growth. This is, again, fire energy all over the place, but I feel that this is you getting your fire back. It's all on your side. It's all about, it's all about to get uh, into some motion. Probably quick motion. Eight of Wands is a quick shift in movement. It's something that an opportunity, an opportunity that that really comes uh, your way quick, and I would say unexpected. Uh, but then look at the beauty of it: six sense growth and new vitality. So we turn the page over here. If you're asking me, this is the energy, and of course, it's always your better judgment, and it's always your decision at the end of the day. Now this person, they are really consistent over here. They show up as the outcome with the Nine of Pentacles. Really focused on themselves and the Three of Swords. Sadness and isolation. Somebody here is really 
and I do hope they will not uh, go into uh, well I focus on myself and then they isolate and then we get depressed we know how it goes um, I mean if we don't balance things out I feel that right now they are very focused on balance very focused on um, on a sense of um, you know um, staying um, in the flow I would say but the energy coming their way absolutely continuing to be single and um, I would say a bit isolated, a bit in pain over what happened. Um, cancer mutual energy is between the two of you. We do have the Seven of Swords and we do have the Five of Cups. Somebody here, both of you, this is both your energies. You both have regrets and you both hide it from each other. I feel, Cancer, that you are way more ready to go right we see the fire coming back in your belly and we see we start to see opportunities around us opportunity opportunities to grow to have success um to develop projects right and um i would say go on with your life a little bit this is how it feels right a new vitality to get things moving while this person they, they kind of go deep into they start with a sense of balance and focusing on themselves but they then you know as it goes their energy moves towards sadness isolation and um also hidden regrets and guilt and a sense of responsibility for what happened and um, i would say for both of you but boy the energies coming your way cancer are amazing i mean the empress abundance and creativity the temperance balance and um, compromise with this person of yours and the strength right the strength and the courage to go uh, through all of it now let's ask for some guidance and, and like i was saying the question is always the same should i say yay should i say nay so let's see well we do have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon probably happening right now kind of a statement guess what finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and this person with the nine of pentacles they might be very very focused on their financial well-being on their money their job their career advancement whatever they are focusing on we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and bottom of the deck free yourself so it's time to take back control of your life and we do have the strength as the overall energy and we also have the strength in the past and now it makes sense right it's take control and that's what you did in the past whoever walked away actually it was in order to take control of their life so it's mutual both of you so free yourself and release your ex um cancer the time has come to clear your energy and make the effort <laughs> very soon are you kidding me the universe is urging you to let go the universe is urging you uh, cancer so very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now release your ex for yourself make the effort very soon um so let's have some whispers of love and true love and then we're going to look into the energies we need to put back into the flow. We do have love. Don't give up on love. Focus on love at this time. Opening up to love. We do have spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Uh, this is what we need to focus on, right? Opening up to love and opening up to spiritual connections. Now that we have all this maturity that we gained into in the process. And Ace of Wands, I feel that is really something coming your way and the universe is asking you, right? To focus only on spiritual connections. Love and spiritual connection actually are very important. We have maturity and sexuality. So I will let you think about however this um, manifests in your life. But that is something about sexuality and maturity that we need to focus on at this time. And then we have the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. Yeah, I feel that you are guided not to give up. But it's, I don't know if you're asked to step up a bit. Um, step up your game, um, Cancer. 
when it comes to sexuality it has to be some maturity there only love only spiritual connections i mean right let's not um compromise we don't have time for cheap connections right we do not have time for cheap connections um so cancer let's look into the energies we want to put back into the flow absolutely success i'm so not surprised so i know that there is no greater goal than love right so whatever you think you need to focus on the universe is bringing you back to love surrender resentment holding on to resentment only poisons you try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situation in life We do have surrender fear of fear of change. I know, Cancer. Oh, believe me, I know. <laughs> surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat this affirmation. I have faith that all is well. We do have integrity. I love this even more. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. And we do have purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. That is one message, you know. Don't be afraid to change. Focus on love. Come from a place of integrity. And let's move on, right? Let's move on. And uh, let's have some general guidance has nothing to do with love sometimes it does but it's um a deck a couple of decks i combined life purpose and um angel angel guidance i guess so we do have children cancer your life purpose involves helping teaching and healing children we do have energy work speaking of healing right and we know a cancer um you know we know cancer is quite um you know um inclined to do this and it has what it takes so energy work life can be electrifying because in in very essence because it's a it's very essence is energy sorry i was really thinking of children and healing and and teaching um cut my uh, caught my eye energy work so life can be electrifying because it's very essence is energy your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatment. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Maybe some of you, you are healers on, on this planet, which is amazing. And I do hope you are healers of kids. Uh, they so need it. So we do have change in direction. Um, cancer, change in direction. So the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance, right? Angel guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. It is a change in direction and the whole reading, um, Cancer, it's about a change in direction. Um definitely i picked up the energy of a cancer who is in separation right and we are so moving on and we are so living behind somebody and the universe actually is asking you to free yourself i don't know make the effort to free yourself so many times in this reading and shift your uh, focus back to love um but we move in a in a good spot the overall energy is simply amazing so cancer we stay optimistic you promise and of course, you know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.